Cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision, and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign, and she boring. Love the way you. What's up, everybody? I'm Eva Rabbit. Today we are on Torque Drift. Almost 3.5 million sessions played here on the game. So today we are going to talk about some things that I would like to see in the game. The game's been out for a pretty long time now, so everybody's had a chance to play it, get acclimated with it, and uh, discover what they like. So obviously, there's a lot of been a lot of big improvements with the game as we continue to play it. So what kind of uh, races can we get into? We'll do the downhill. I was having a lot of fun in Red Dance Briquettes, so it was super in the. Uh, live stream so i feel like we're gonna drive this as we talk about things that i would like to see maybe coming to the game here in the future so i think one of the things that was actually brought up in the live stream and i thought is a really good idea is once this uh match is over i'll really talk into that but so one thing that i would really like to see in the game would be maybe some drift teams the ability to create a team with some uh, fellow drivers or friends and maybe have like a clan tag or something on those lines and be able to like have a, a proper like drift team in a sense on the game you know with your friends or with some random people or some good drivers and whatnot and just have a clan tag and be able to put that clan tag in front of your name or a team name such like that that way you know you can get your friends together and be on a team um, is one cool thing that I think would make the game a little bit uh, more interactive being able to have teams and stuff like that um, Another big thing that I thought would be a good thing to have would maybe a way to share other than through the uh, Through the hub a way to share tunes like a way to almost I guess you would say kind of like Forza where you could put your tune up with all the parts and stuff like that and you could buy that tune for a, a sum of money without having to buy all the parts below it, such as like buying an import engine to get a pro engine, to get a custom engine. Like if the person's tune has a pro engine, you just pay for everything outright for the tune and you get the car tuned with all the parts they have on it as well as the tuning settings. Now, you couldn't change it because it's a bought tune, but it would be a way to save people a little bit of money when they're trying to build a car. So like I could throw up at my S14 tune and people could buy the S14 tune on an S14, ooh, that was a close match. I'm only gonna rematch on him. Could buy the S14 tune and now have to buy all the lower parts to get up to the higher end parts. In a way, it'll streamline building a car, yes. And you, but of course, the cost of the, the the car will be, you know, a lot higher. I was way off gears. Oh, the cost of the car would be tremendously high, you know, to make up for having to have all those high end parts bought. So. That's one thing I thought, another thing I thought would be a really good feature that could maybe come to the game, you know, would be a way to share tunes in a sense. Because I know there's a lot of people that are on there now sharing tunes, sharing stuff like that. And it's amazing to, you know, try other people's tunes out. So a way to buy that person's tune without having to sit there and like wait for parts to show up, buy the parts and stuff like that would be kind of a, kind of a cool thing to, to see come into the game. He got disqualified. We got lucky there. So that's that's you know two things that I think would make the game a little bit a little bit cooler, just my personal opinions. If you guys have anything that I don't say throughout this video that you think would be a cool thing to add into the game, you know, let me down let me know down in the comment section down below um, what you guys think. Ah, uh, just a tap. So I think those two things are a good thing. Another thing would be obviously more cars, like a 180 a 180 SXX Coupe an S13. Maybe some big, big daddy drift cars like some four-door Skylines, Chasers, JZX 190s, you know, JZX 100s, you know, stuff like that would be a cool add-on to the game, you know, as well as obviously we just would like more cars, which I know they're working on getting more cars to us. It's just a matter of them getting them into the game and licensing and stuff like that because they've been doing a lot with, you know, getting a lot of licensing and sponsors and parts and stuff like that. So. They're definitely working on, uh, you know, trying to broaden their, you know, broaden the game with, you know, real world stuff, which is, which is why the game, I believe, does not have as much as, say, some of the other games out there right now is because they're doing, 
real world cars, real world parts, you know, stuff like that. So they, there's a lot of licensing and, you know, copyright things that need to be taken into account, obviously, so, so that they're, you know, they're legally allowed to have it without, you know, potentially getting sued. We are driving this guy's door right now and literally driving into his door right there. So I do have a pretty good chase runs with this uh, Rad Dan Briquette Supra. Um, I do like it a lot. Probably one of my new favorite cars to drive. So uh, on top of more cars, obviously, this thing right here where it says rematch it was brought up in the stream and I think it would be a very good thing to change that from rematch to change it to one more time. Like FD, when they go at it again, it's a one more time. Change that rematch just to say one more time and it's more of a direct thing, which I think would be a very cool thing to have. Instead of saying rematch, have it say one more time. Um, I think that's a, I'm not sure how hard the coding would be to change that or get that in, but I feel like that would be kind of a cool little change that's big for drifting. Especially with the formula of drift cars and everything in the game. Um, obviously we probably would like to see more FD cars in the game as well. Um, some other big name competitors in the FD game, like maybe Force Wang, one of my, uh, probably one of my favorite drivers, Forrest Wang. Uh, it would be sweet to see his S15 in the game, but I'm pretty sure there's a, there's a lot that goes into getting a uh, pro car with all the sponsorships and stickers and stuff on the car to uh, be allowed into the game, such as like, I'm pretty sure Fantasia and stuff like that. would They'd have to get permission from all Forrest Wang sponsors, as well as all the companies for his car, like his body kit, which is a rocket bunny, or a super doof sorry um stuff like that would have to be brought into the game so i understand all that stuff so you know we can hope that all this stuff comes into play and they're working on getting this stuff um i believe they are making very great strides in this and you know the game is just getting better and better every day so on you know tangenting off of you know more fd cars more tracks like maybe some more real world FD tracks like Road Atlanta or uh, Long Beach Circuit would be amazing and primo to have in the game. To be able to run, say, like some proper tandems at the Long Beach Circuit or the Road Atlanta Circuit, you know, Evergreen Speedway. I mean, we have Cali Banks, which is basically Irwindale, but you have all those other places like Texas and, you know, the high speed drift sections. But, like, I feel like Long Beach and, uh, Road Atlanta would be probably the two best primo tracks to have in the game. Um, would be amazing. I mean, even if it was like kind of like a, a rendered version of it that isn't exact, why we just barely won that one? Because that's kind of what Cali Banks is. It's a rendered version of Irwindale with a little bit of differences. So it would be sweet to get some more FD proper FD tandem tracks in the game. That'd be amazing. Uh, I know they added some new courses in the game, like the Captain's Hook and stuff like that. So they are adding more features. Um, so these are just some of the things that I would like to see in the game. You know, other things such as maybe, you know, Falcon Tires coming into the game. You know, with Nexon being a big sponsor of the game, you know, maybe we can get some Falcons in here. Maybe we can get some, you know, Hankooks in the mix. You know, stuff like that. You know, it's, it's just the little things. And, you know, I feel like they made a big update in the paint shop with all the, you know, extra... Um, gra vinyl graphics and stuff that we can do now which was a huge thing and it was a big thing when it came out and you know it makes it so much cooler as well as maybe fi the fixing some of the bugs with the sponsors and stuff like that because I still have for the life of me cannot figure out how to get my own sponsor in the game and I've been trying to figure it out I went back and forth with them and they they're look they were looking into it because it shows it's active but for some reason I get no penalties at the, on the drift and I still on uh, jump and I still don't get it. I know a lot of you guys have messaged me about it too saying, hey, you know, what's the trick or hey, why isn't this working? And I, I don't know what it is. Um, I'm sure it's probably something that needs to be adjusted or and or we're not doing something right. But, you know, just little things like that. But I mean, the game's gotten very, very better. I'm very, very better. That's not really correct sentence. But it's gotten so much better since it first came out. From when I played it in beta to where it is now, it's, it's 10 times better. And, you know, it can only get better from here. But the biggest thing I think, guys, is, you know, they're listening, they're watching, they're, 
you know, paying attention to, you know, suggestions you put in in the hub as well as, you know, you know, I don't know how much pull I got with them. I mean, I do talk to them a little bit back and forth and, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, I'll do what I can. But, you know, the like I said, maybe a drift team, the ability to have teams in the game, you know. Another big thing, maybe an easier way to do private matches because people who don't know each other are just meeting each other like on the hub and want to do some sort of match. It's kind of hard for them to, you know, get a code through the hub because um, you have to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So it's, it's kind of hard. So maybe a way to have like a friends list. Um, and you could have, you know, click, you could see if somebody's online, you can click, you know, maybe click on their name to go, you know, battle, and it sends them a little pop up saying you have a battle request. And then you can just go hop right into the game. We're on an eight win winning streak. We are doing Primo in this uh, Supra right now um, here on the downhill section. So, like, these are just little tidbits that I've picked up throughout, you know, playing the game and, you know, hearing from you guys when I do the live streams on what you guys think and stuff like that it, it helps it's definitely a big thing to hear from the players of the game and to hear you know what what they kind of what what we want so if you guys have any other uh, little tidbits that you think you would like to see in the game other than things I've already said um, you know let me know down in the comment section down below and you know, let me know what you guys say because uh, you know I'd be very curious to see what other people other than myself and the few people that I've talked to would like to see in the game. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say a lot, new cars, you know, new cars and new tracks. I think that's a given, and I think Turk Shift is definitely working on that. So, I mean, other than new cars and new tracks, like I said, like teams, an easier way to get into lobbies with people or maybe a friends list or, you know, stuff like that. Like, what other little tweaks would you like to see in the game? Because they're listening. They're, they're paying attention to us. They they are definitely listening. I know I've said this before, but, you know, I mentioned in one of my videos we should have numbers and letters and stuff like that. And I don't think it, it might have not have been from what I said. Maybe they were working on it prior, but it just so happened, like, a week or so after that, an update, we had letters and numbers. So, you know, not saying that, you know, what I said in my video was what got us all that, but, you know, it was just something that I mentioned about, and the next thing that we have it. So, they do pay attention, they do listen, and they are making this game, you know, better and better with our input. You know, the beta, they got a lot of input in the beta, and they implemented a lot of it. But now that the game's out, and we're starting to play it more, we're probably starting to uh, see things that we want in the game that we didn't know we wanted in the game, like teams, something simple. So... You know, that's why I said, if you guys have any other ideas that you think you guys would like to see in the game, put it down in the comment section down below. I'd be very curious to hear what you guys have to say. Um, and, you know, I'm going to try my best to see what I can do to help, you know, make the game, you know, better, you know, because, you know, I message them with ideas and stuff like that. We're going to try to hit that 10, uh, 10 win streak right now in this Supra. So, like I said, let me know down in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and Instagram, all of which you found. You know in the description box below as well um i hope you guys have a very good weekend it is the holiday season well it's already been the holiday season but it's a holiday weekend so i hope you guys have a good weekend um and i hope you guys are having a uh, very exciting time waiting for christmas to show up and uh if you guys don't celebrate christmas then i hope you guys have a good monday tuesday because you know i don't want to be that guy that says i wish you guys a merry christmas and you don't celebrate christmas for one reason or another you know i'm but have a happy holiday if you do celebrate it. A Merry Christmas for this season. So, like I said, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. I am having so much fun in the Supra. I think I may have found one of my new favorite cars to drive. So, I think that's going to give us our 10 win streak here on the downhill in the Supra, which is amazing. And, uh, hey, <laughs> but like I said, you know, just a little tweak, like, one more time instead of rematch would be something that would be really cool, and it would be into drifting, like, into Formula D. Another thing that I just thought about, and I totally forgot to say it, maybe a way to have, like, a tandem, like, a, a competition or a ladder bracket where, you know, it's like a tournament style for, you know, a big chunk of money. You know, if, 
you gotta battle you battle your way in you know almost like a top 32 competition but um pretty much a tournament style or even if it's a you know an offline tournament where you can race you know race bots but i mean bots aren't what the reason of this game is this game is mainly about player versus player so like maybe um like a tournament with you know a good chunk money prize at the end you know would be a cool would be a very cool thing to have in the game you know and it would make the game oh man i gotta build a car i gotta go in this tournament you know enter in the tournament or whoever has entered in the tournament and next thing you know you're running you know tandem tournament either 16 32 or whatever how many ever tiers they want to do for a big chunk of change at the end if you can make it all the way to the top and then you know maybe have like where the drift king logo is maybe have like a little uh a little icon that says that you placed first in a tournament like something like that so people know hey you know this guy placed in a tournament you know he's got to be a good drifter so you know it's things like that like that would make this game the playability of the game the replayability of the game so much better cuz um i i i've seen a couple people saying that the game is getting stale for them because it's kind of the same thing and i know the devs don't want the game to get stale i know they want the game to keep being played so maybe that's why we don't have all the cars right away or all the content out right away because they're trying to do it and release it in strides so that you know there's a reason for us to keep playing um and if that's what they're doing then you know it's probably a smart tactic and you know they probably know what they're doing so like i said make sure you guys follow me on all social media and if you guys have any other ideas let me know down in the comment section down below we're just running walls with this super right now so i think we're gonna finish this battle off and we're gonna end this episode off here for today and uh i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i hope you guys enjoyed my take on what i think the game should have if you guys agree with some of the things let me know as well down in the comments if you agree or if you even disagree let me know because like i said i uh i stay very active in the comment section i stay very active on uh instagram and, and stuff like that and i try to stay very active on the game hub so let me know what you guys think if you agree if you disagree if i miss something and you think it should be in let me know because i'd be very curious to you know get into some discussions about what you think the game should have because i don't think maybe it's you know maybe because nobody's really making a discussion about it or something like this that maybe this will help in increase the game you never know they're listening they're watching um they put me in the sponsor tree for a reason and you know maybe they're watching what i'm saying you know I know they're watching because they watch my videos and you know they've been in the live stream so maybe uh, you guys commenting on the video and liking this video and stuff like that will get them to watch it and maybe something will come out of it. Can't promise anything but it's always worth a shot. So as always I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I appreciate all the support on the channel. I appreciate all the comments. I do, like I said I do try and be very active in the comment section. So until next time guys I'll see you guys on the next one.